Let's make a cute little bunny butt craft. Here we go. So I have an old Dollar Tree sign and I'm going to mix up some gray paint, 50%, essentially 50% white, 50% black with brush. And I'm not going to mix it too completely so that I get different colors on my sign. I kind of want a barn board look. So if I don't mix it up too completely with this brush like that, I'm great. Then I'm cutting out a template that I hand drew of a little foot for a bunny. And I'm going to trace it onto some cardboard or you could trace it onto wood if you have a scroll saw. So I just went with cardboard and we're going to cut that out. Now you could paint this as well, but I didn't bother. And then I trimmed out the holes on the bunny foot just for, you'll see why later. So I traced those onto my patterned paper that can be scrapbook paper, printable paper, whatever you have and cut them out and glued them onto the little feet. So there we go. The reason I cut holes is so I can get a good idea of where the pattern is going to land inside the foot. You don't have to do that. You can just trace them on whatever way you like. That just worked for me. So we got them all cut out here. Exciting, no? <laughs> almost done, almost done. I could have sped this up more, I guess. All right, we are done. And we're going to just start gluing it onto the feet. There we go. Place everything where you want it. Make sure you're happy with the placement. And I used a glue stick. You can use whatever you find best. I ran out of uh, the glue stick actually became too close to the edge. So I started, I just used my brush. I grabbed a brush and used it to paint the glue on so that I can use up all the glue in the glue stick and not have to throw it away. I hate wasting things like that. So there we go. We just paint it on. You wash the brush out when you're done. It's easy peasy. All right. So the feet are ready. Simple as that. Now, in order to do the bunny butt, I'm just giving a quick dry here with my husband's heat gun. In case you want to know, it's a Milwaukee. So there we go. We have it. You can see there's different shades. And then I used a soup bowl for the template for the round part of the body and just trace that on. So I would have a round body to paint. So then we go with the white paint again. And you need to do a couple of layers when you're painting over gray. If you want to make it a solid white, white's a hard color to paint. And because it has hardly any pigment in it, you usually have to do more coats than you think. Coat number two. Now this is, doesn't need to be perfect. I never do perfect guys. I do really good. I do excellent, but I never do perfect. Perfect is impossible. And it's really, um, it's a joy killer. So don't do perfect. Do have, do have fun, do really good, do really happy. Don't do perfect. All right. So we have a dry brush. What I dried on a towel using the white paint and I'm just kind of burn boarding up the, uh, the edges some more. All right. Now, literally, we're going to just glue. Oh, sorry. We're going to make the pom-pom next. So we take some wool. Give the, there we go. The camera catches up. And we just, I'm wrapping it around a piece of card that's probably be about three or four inches wide. And this is a bulky yarn. You can pick them up in lots of places. Dollar Tree, Michael's, Hobby Lobby. Make, make them really um, bulky. Then tie it really tight. I flip it over and tie it on the other side as well. And then I want to cut all the loops. All right. So I'm just going to start cutting through all the loops that were there. I keep going back and finding more. You'll find more and you'll find more and you'll find more. And then I just trim off um, the, the longer edges to make it look more, to shape it more like a pom-pom. And it's a simple, fast pom-pom. There we go. And you can trim it down further until you get it, um, uh, like a heavier pom-pom, a thicker pom-pom. There we go. There's his little butt. There's his little tail. So I have, I just glue everything together, put the tail on. Then I decided I wanted to make a bow. So I, I make what I call a cause bow, flip it like it's a cause, scrunch it up, tie it, and you are done. That's a simple, simple, simple bow. Put it on there. Then I wanted something in the middle where I had put the tie. So often I put bling there. I just used a little bead I had and I painted it. Uh, you can hardly see it. There we go. I painted it 
was gray. It was one of those flat beads. Give it a quick dry, pop it on there. You could use a star, anything shiny, a carrot. That would be great. Lots of things. There you go, guys. Simple as that. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe.